nice and early here in Krakow. This week is a lot of travel, um, and today I'm leaving. I'm leaving in an hour. Then I only have Wednesday in Budapest, and then I'm flying out Thursday to go to Bulgaria. And I'm in Bulgaria for about four or five days. Krakow was one city I wanted to hit, and I wanted to see the salt mine and everything. I had a cold while I was here, one of the two days that I was here, really. So I know that I'm leaving a lot on the table with these cities each time. Now, in England, I guess, really, I was spending like five or six days at a time in each city. And I was like, I gotta get moving. But I've had a lot of movement over the last couple weeks. So after Bulgaria, I was thinking of going to Greece or uh, Italy or something like that. When I first got here, I just leave it all, take a day, walk around. Then I had a cold and then I was able to go out and film. But that was more of like a walk up a hill kind of day, not, uh, not see the city square. So I don't know why I did this entire video with earbuds in. And then not only that, but the earbuds aren't even playing music. The music's playing on my computer. So, cool. Quality content. Um, wake up, be in your pajamas, look like hell, have a weird shadow across your face, and um, leave your earbuds in that are not even playing music like some kind of psychopath. And hey, if you can really try and put a little extra on, make sure the construction's happening in the background. I'm sure this will sound right. Okay, I gotta get ready. Let's go to Budapest. I for sure miss my bus, which I don't even know why I'm going to the bus station then. Doesn't really make sense, but it's like just some, you know, random stupid hope that it's still here, even though I know it's not. Just gonna go hang out at one of the best places on earth, the bus station, for an entire day. This is my fault. So I've definitely missed my bus. And I'm leaving at like 11 or midnight or whatever. I'm getting there at six or seven in the morning. I know my hotel has a sauna because I've been spoiling myself and only booking hotels that have saunas. Budapest is gonna be a, a skip. I'm gonna have, I think, under 24 hours in Budapest. Um, so it's just kind of a layover city. And I know that Budapest is beautiful enough to not be a city that you just stop in overnight, but that's just what happened. It's the first time it's happened. I'm trying not to be frustrated. We're gonna catch up and be live because I'm filming this on uh, 9.30, the morning of the 16th, and you're gonna be watching it. Let's see how long I can hide in this coffee shop before they kick me out. I am super frustrated today. Um, it slowly crept up. I've been so mad at myself for missing that bus by five minutes. But I'm trying to turn a negative into positive. So, I, But I do want to talk to you a little bit about travels and maybe Tuesday videos can be something like that where we talk about, uh, you know, one to travel topic Tuesday, if you will. But uh, it's not, it probably won't be that. An interesting question from a, an old friend of mine. She said, I would love to do these things that you're doing, but as a woman, I'm scared. How do I proceed? That is a tough question. I completely understand where you're coming from, first off. I have been scared. My first night in England, I was punched in the face by a drunk guy. I've been harassed by pickpockets. I have been completely lost without cell phone service, no Google Maps, in pitch black, walking down an old country road in England for about a mile. 
praying for a car to come up the road to give me like some sense of the world around me because I could not see more than five feet in front of my face with my cell phone flashlight that I had. I remember that night thinking, oh my God, this is where those old world ghost stories come from. I almost lost my mind. I've met quite a few solo women travelers and um, I know that there are, there are tons of them on Instagram and Reddit and things like that. So I would recommend searching hashtags, um, you know, hashtag solo woman traveler or whatever and look for those accounts and reach out to those people. And I say that not uh, as a, like a make it somebody else's problem thing, but more as just like admitting and recognizing that I cannot answer women's specific problems. I don't know. Um, and I don't want to just be like, just do what I did, go out there and flex on them. Even my experiences that I just listed don't really pertain to what women face traveling alone. And I totally get that I don't get it. But yeah, I would look for that. There are definitely solo traveler groups on Reddit uh, that are filled with women. I know that there are even like, uh, I know a subreddit called Travel Partners where you can post what city you want to go to and you can try to find somebody. Again, not saying, <laughs> not being like, well, you just can't travel alone. You have to have a buddy. That's awful. One tip I can tell you definitely is that almost all hostels will have women-only dorms and mixed dorms. And what they mean by women dorms and mixed dorms is they're going to have women dorms and then they're going to have men's dorms that stink and uh, a couple of women who refuse to pay the extra dollar. So just pay the extra dollar and sleep in the women's the women's dorms. That's that's my that's one tip that I can tell you for sure. The rest of travel, I think, is just preparedness. And it's not like um, buy every piece of gear and research every possible thing you can. It's not about protection or like buying things. It's just about mental preparedness for the unexpected. Like be prepared to get lost. Be prepared to be scared. Be prepared to fail. I had to leave the mall that I was trying to work in today to go to the park and I need to go sit and meditate for a while and just like clear my brain of this because I have so much negativity floating around that I need to get rid of it. And again, I, I'm not the resource to say how to travel as a woman. Hopefully I can, you know, give you some resources that you can get in contact with women who have done it and have traveled alone. Um, but no, solo travel is uniquely weird and scary and you just have yourself. So I wrote that advice like four or five days ago and I just need to take that advice myself today and say that I knew this was gonna happen. This is the first time I've missed a plane or a bus or anything like that and like really been set back. But anyways, that's my tip. I'll uh, put some links below on, on YouTube and uh, the different groups that I've seen. Any women solo travelers, feel free to comment below. Let me know what you guys think, what advice you would have, even if this video itself in the comment section below can be a resource for another person to feel a little more safe or a little more prepared while traveling. Great, that's what this should be about. So let me know if you have any other questions or any other topics I should cover I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks so much. Let's talk below. Let me know what your tip would be as a woman. Give it a like, give it a share. Tag someone below that's looking to traveling alone or uh, give me your tips on how to be a better traveler. Okay, I need to go meditate now. Bye-bye.